now that you guys have all this core awareness, what we're gonna do, we're gonna put this into application. So now we're gonna go into kettlebell deadlift. Keeping that good stack position with your rib cage and your hips, what I wanna do is I wanna hinge back at my hips. So what I'm doing is this stay intact. I'm hinging down by sticking my butt back. Notice as I'm hinging down, I slowly bend my knees at the same time. So right here is a good hinging pattern, right? For those of you guys that do not have kettlebells at home, you can use anything, a gallon of water, dumbbells, whatever it is, right? From there, I will reach down to the object in front of me, which is a kettlebell. I will grip the object firmly, connect it with my upper body. From there, the kettlebell weight become part of my weight. Now all I have to do is push into the ground and stand up just like a rocket taking off. So I'm pushing, standing up, squeezing my butt. As I'm returning the weight down, it's the same motion as I did before. By sticking my butt back, bending my knees, drop down, drive my back up. The key to a good deadlift is you wanna make sure that you're loading your posterior chain, which is your hamstring, your butt, your core, and really take the stress out of your lower back. And if you feel any pinching sensation while you're doing this, go back and do the reverse Nordic and really re-educate your body on your core control.